Namaste. Today I wanted to introduce you to the world of spirit guides and asking your spirit guides a message. So some of you probably already know or have a spirit guide. Others um, know what that is but don't have one and there's still others who probably have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, so spirit guides could be anything from a spirit guide to a guardian angel uh, to a deceased loved one who just comes back and helps you along this path, this journey you're on in life. It could also be an animal, whether it's a loved animal that has passed or just a, a random animal like in nature or in the wilderness. So lots of, lots of, um, lots of, it's not necessarily a person, it, they're just more uh, an entity, I guess I should say, that is not of this world, who have more knowledge and abilities to help in times of need for you. So when we call on them, we usually ask messages or we ask for guidance and they're there to help us. Now, sometimes the messages can be jumbled because they don't speak our language, so to speak. Uh, they can bring messages in the forms of symbols, of colors, of memory or visions. Um, so messages can come through as also like you opening a book and you get your message right there when you read the line in the book. You just open it randomly. Um, another time could be when you turn on the radio and there it is, somebody singing the message that you need to hear. So they are willing to help you, but you have to meet them halfway by being open to what they have to tell you and to find those messages that are coming to you. So it's not necessarily like an easy thing where they're just going to come and give you the message right then and there. Um, so it's, it's, it's very, it's a playful kind of thing. They want you to know that they want you to help in on it as well. They just don't want you to give you the answers and then that's it. You're done. Um, they want your contribution as well. So it's a team effort, a team approach. So with that being said, um, when you ask your question, you want to make sure it's something that, you know, is just pretty succinct and simple. So it could be just a general question like, what do I need to know right now? Um, it could be a decision that you're trying to, to figure out. You can ask like, okay, if I do this or if I do that, can you help me with this and our decision I need to make? Uh, it could be your life's purpose. It could be maybe an issue that you're confused on and you just need extra help or extra guidance. So yeah, lots of lots of different things. Um, sometimes when I just ask um, my guide, it's just a general like, hey, what can you tell me? What do I need to know about today? Um, for those of you who already have spirit guides, you can go ahead and use that spirit guide that you usually associate guidance with. If you do not have a spirit guide, I am gonna have you go, we're gonna go through a meditation and I'm gonna use the animal, the owl, the bird, the owl. And the reason why I'm using that as an example or as a, as a symbol or as your guide, so to speak, is an owl is a bird of prophecy and of wisdom. So it has great vision and it has great hearing and it can see into the eyes and souls of others. So it's a perfect, perfect uh, symbol or a perfect guide to have um, if you don't have a guide. And it's, owls are great too because they're able to help you and see you and then they can even actually help you get your guide. You can even ask the owl too if you don't have a guide say hey can you help can you be my guide or can you help me find my guide and it could appear right there in front of your face while you're in this vision or this meditation that I'm going to guide you on and you can sit right there and talk to your that guide and say hey hi what's your name how can you help me in this life what can you do for me you know you can ask questions for him or her or questions for yourself unlimited possibilities so I'm gonna lead this like a little very short meditation just a very simple one but you can play around with this in any way you want you can stand in as long as you want you can find as much visualization as you want in this or if you just want to make it short sweet and simple like I'm doing perfect um, another thing is too, when you go into these like little meditations, you don't want to stay too long because sometimes it gets, it gets fuzzy. If you don't have a direct purpose, it's kind of pointless because then you get fuzzy, fuzzy and you don't get, you get mixed messages, mixed symbols, and it just doesn't make any sense. So make sure to go in there and have a goal in mind or what your message or what your question is going to be to ask these guides. 
So if you'd like to join me on this fun, fun adventure, let's go ahead and find a seat. Sitting up nice and tall in your seat, getting really comfortable though as well, and closing the eyes. And then we'll just take some deep breaths in and out of the body. Inhale, and then let that breath go, exhaling. And just finding yourself deeply and deeply relaxed as you come into your consciousness, come internally. And just finding the stillness, finding this peace as you take another deep breath in and then let that breath go. Falling deeper and deeper into relaxation and peace as you continue to sit up nice and tall in your seat. Nice, and keep taking your nice, slow, mindful breaths here. And I want you to imagine you are sitting under a tree. And on that tree, there is a branch. And on that branch is a wise old owl who knows the answer to any question you have. Again, if you have your spirit guide, you can use that spirit guide instead of the owl image. Know the owl is always gentle and kind and knows what you need. Ask the owl your question. And let the owl think about the answer. You can take three soft, slow, mindful breaths while you wait. And then listen carefully when the owl answers your question. And then picture yourself following the advice that the owl gives you. How does that make you feel? If you need to, ask the owl more questions until you know what to do. And try to relax here. Try not to let your mind jumble. And maybe perhaps you think that you're not hearing the right message or maybe that's you talking. And if that's the case, that's really ultimately it is, is you're going into yourself for inner guidance. So maybe you do have the right answer. You're just not listening to it and you need to be in a meditation in order to do this and to listen to it. And if the owl or your spirit guide does not have a message for you at this time, maybe you're just not hearing it right, or maybe it's not time to be revealed quite yet. Maybe you can ask for more information. How can I find this message? How can I ask the, a question better to get that answer? Or just trust that it's the, the message or the answer will come to you in a, another form, in another way. Like you drop a book and you open that book and you open it right to that page that you need to hear that message or the answer. Or you're in your car and you flip on the radio and then there you go, there's that message. Trust that you will get your message some way or another if it's not right here and right now. And then let's go ahead and take a deep breath in through the nose, fill up, and then exhale, let it go. Keeping your eyes closed, ask yourself, where did that wisdom come from? Know that you can always find the wise owl inside of you. Know that you can always come to this place or any place that's special to you in a nice, sweet, smooth meditation where you can come and visit your spirit guide or your owl. And when you're ready on your own time, you can make those wiggles, shift a little bit, and then open the eyes. Thank you, everyone. I hope this helps. It's very short and sweet and simple, but you can play along with this and do so much more to it. So the possibilities are endless. Have fun with this. Thank you so much. Namaste.